Now I've previously shown you how to unlock the bootloader of the Redmi Note 5, the Redmi Note 5 Pro, and the Redmi Note 5 Plus. So, and once you have done that, then we can proceed to install a custom recovery such as TWRP. So we're going to need to download the TWRP custom recovery image file for your specific device. And we're going to save that on our computer. And we're going to rename that to TWRP.IMG. And I'm going to have the download link for this included in the full tutorial. And you'll find that full tutorial linked below the video for those of you who are watching this on YouTube. Once that's done, we're going to need to power off the Redmi Note 5 because we need to boot, o boot over into fast boot mode. So to do that, we're going to press and hold the volume down button and power buttons at the same time until we're in fast boot mode. And then we can connect the phone to the PC with the USB cable and then turn our attention to the command prompt. So as you can see right here, we have the TWRP image file that we downloaded. And, when the, and again, make sure this is renamed to TWRP.IMG. You can find that file name right there. Then we're going to open up either Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell. Now there's two different commands we can do here. Right here, the fast boot space flash space recovery and then the name of our file, so twrp.img, that's going to actually overwrite your current recovery image, your stock recovery image, on the Redmi Note 5, the Redmi Note 5 Plus, or the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So if you plan on staying on MIUI, once we install twrp, we're going to need, going to, need to boot directly into twrp and flash a modification, a zip file that will mod our kernel so that the kernel does not overwrite our install of TWRP. If you're going to have a custom ROM on there, then you don't have to use this. Or if, the, if you decide to install a custom kernel, then you can do that as the custom kernel will mo most likely support or include that modification that we're going to install. So once we are in fastboot mode, we're going to type out the command fastboot space flash space recovery space twrp.img. And again, I'm going to have links to these downloads and these full commands and the full tutorial on my website. We're going to press enter on the keyboard. It's going to send that recovery image file to the device and then we're going to type out fast boot space boot space twrp dot img and then press enter on the keyboard and that's going to actually boot us into twrp This is going to take us to the main menu. And like I said, we're going to have a zip file here that we need to copy to the device before we install TWRP. We're going to tap on that, swipe to flash, and that's modifying our current kernel to allow TWRP to stay installed. Now, if you fail to do this and you continue to run MIUI, when you boot up into MIUI, it will overwrite TWRP with the stock recovery. That might be what you want to do. If you just want to temporarily boot into TWRP, then you can do that and not install this zip file so that whenever, 
so that you can go into TWRP and say install Majisk or Exposed or even just create a Nandroid backup. That way, whenever you boot back into MIUI, you are back on the stock recovery and it will be easier for you to install official MIUI over the air updates. So it will just be up to you once we install that, since I'm going to keep TWRP installed on this device, I'm just going to tap on the reboot system button. It's going to reboot the phone and take us right back into MIUI. And again, if, you're, if you install a custom ROM here, then you don't need to flash that zip file as the kernel on the custom ROM will support that. And again, most custom ROMs have included support for that mod as well. So there you have it. That is how to install TWRP on the Redmi Note 5, the Redmi Note 5 Plus, and the Redmi Note 5 Pro.